What's going on, everyone? I hope that everyone is having an excellent day so far. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and talk about a topic that uh, a lot of people, mostly millennials, have been asking me over on Instagram. And I don't know why or where they come up with this, but that's you know how I handle my money. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm making a shit ton of money because... You know, sure, looking back where I was three months ago compared to now, you know, blows my mind. But it's, you know, now that I actually see the potential and what's possible out there, what I can do and what I'm going to do, it's nothing. So I'm kind of in a position where, you know, what I was making three months ago compared to now, I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a car by then. So, you know, now I don't have a car. I still don't because I see what I can do if I just save my money, if I reinvest it and if I'm smarter. So, I'm sure there's a lot of people, you know, my age and even younger making a hell of a lot more money than me, but at least the way I've done things, I don't really spend money on things that I don't need. I can kind of validate, you know, getting two phones, that's probably one of the dumbest things, but it's a long story I'll probably talk about in another video. Um, as well as I'm going to make a completely separate video on my money and I'm going to try and be very transparent about that, where it comes from, the different streams of income, how much I'm making, what I'm doing with it, you know, where I'm allocating that cash. Um, but my biggest goal right now is moving out. So I'm just kind of saving my money, putting that away and basically raising my income. One thing I am doing uh, a lot is traveling and reinvesting, you know, not necessarily just into things, but in businesses, but as well as into my learning, meeting people, networking. So on the 15th, I'm flying out to La Jolla in San Diego, California. I'll be there for three days for an event. Got a really nice house there with a ton of entrepreneurs. Then I'm going to be up in Orange County for about a week with a, a couple of my buddies who are doing really, really well with drop shipping. Um, more videos to come on that as well. That's something I'm learning. Um, and then I'll be up in LA, you know, checking it out, meeting up with a few people. So that's how I'm spending my money, you know, traveling, kind of reinvesting, not just blowing money, you know, getting nice cars as I rent while I travel, but, you know, meeting people and doing the right things. So I just want to talk real quick about like what to do with the money, because if you're spending your time learning, you know, you're building a business, especially at a young age where you don't have many expenses, the money will come. You know, most kids who are 15 to 18 are probably making three to 500 bucks a month working a part-time job while going to school. When you start making that in a couple days or a day or double that every day, whatever it is, that's a lot of money, you know, even to the average American who's only making 50 grand a year. So if you can start making a couple thousand bucks a month, you know, for me, that was my goal is to start making three to 5,000, you know, that would allow me to have money, do whatever I want, travel, I could get a car, you know, BMW, Mercedes or whatever it is. But now I see why am I going to go spend $500 a month on a car, you know, which if you put it actually on paper, I got to make the down payment insurance fronting my parents money because I can't even sign for it. You know, they're going to want six months advance. It just doesn't make sense on paper. And then shipping the car out wherever I move to, that just, it doesn't make much sense. So I'm just going to hold off, which I know is smarter. Um, and I've had to do that on a lot of different things, you know, traveling, taking trips that were more for fun and not for business. Um, so, you know, just be smart with your money. You know, you have to be self-aware. Nobody knows your financial situation better than you and what you want to do with it. Sure, all my friends are saying, get a car, get this, you know, get the real version of this bracelet. Why would I go spend $5,000 on a bracelet? Well, first of all, this was a gift. So was this watch. You know, shout out lead friend. Thank you. Um, but I'm not going to go buy that stuff because I don't care. I'm going to buy that stuff once I can go spend $30,000 on a watch. and It literally does not matter because I made that back today. You know, once you get to that point, that's when you can just be stupid with your money. Not necessarily stupid, but once you have stupid money, you can spend it stupidly. So, you know, I've been learning from a lot of people like Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, just like taking different principles on what they've said, because I know I'm sure they've made mistakes, you know, getting cars too soon, which I see a lot of entrepreneurs doing, especially all the lifestyle shit, you know, trying to sell a course. They think having a car, you know, they know having a car is going to help that. It will. That's a fact. But I'm not trying to sell something exactly, you know, at least not now. I'm going to build a business first, you know, something super successful in multiple different areas. You know, I have multiple businesses, multiple niches and multiple streams of income, but then I'll make a course once the businesses are doing really well. You know, I want something to back it up. I'm not just going to push a course when I'm making no money and just make my money off the course. That to me, I don't agree with. And a lot of people do that. So, um, you know, that's just the route I'm taking things, but back on the track of money, um, just be smart with it, you know. I'm still trying to figure out the whole taxes thing. I have a meeting with my accountant right before I go to California. So got to make sure that's squared away before I start spending money on stuff like a car, you know, depreciating assets, liabilities, and honestly, you know, stuff like a bracelet, a watch, or whatever, two phones, like those are all depreciating assets, you know. Things I like to buy that don't cost a lot of money is, you know, traveling, which people think it costs a lot, but if you do it right, it really doesn't, you know. I've... Now, by traveling, I now have friends in like every major city and all across the world, 
who I can stay with, you know, they have nice cars I can use so I don't have to rent that stuff or pay for it. I just kind of pay for my food and my travel expenses. That's it, you know? So like, for example, books, I buy a lot of books. I have like two bookshelves, drawers full of it, a ton more here, but you know, it's 10, 20 bucks a book, you know, that's written by someone who made a billion dollars in their life. Why would you not want to learn from them? So spend your money on the right things and just make sure that you know your financial situation and you're not just off blowing money on dumb shit that you know you're going to look back on in three years and say you're really stupid for that. If you want to, let's say, rent a nice car for a day, that, you know, you're going to have to draw the line. You know, if you're going to go spend $500 and rent an Audi R8 for a day, you could do that if, you know, if you're making a few thousand dollars a month and that's one of your goals because then you're going to manifest that into your life. But at the same time, that $500 is going to get you closer to actually getting the car. So you need to draw that line to figure out what works best for you because everybody's different. You know, I spend my money different. I want to spend it different. I want to make a different amount than you. Everybody has different goals. Everybody has a different path that they're going to go on in life. So you got to figure that out for yourself. I am going to be making a lot more YouTube content, I promise. Um, while I'm out in La Jolla, California, you know, there's like 150 entrepreneurs at this big house for an event I'm at. And I have another big house like 10 minutes down the road where a ton of us are staying at. But... You know, people like JR Garage, Casey Adams, big YouTubers like Tanner Fox, Hu Man Yuri, Tanner J. Fox, who does a lot of affiliate marketing and Amazon stuff, um, Jaden Gross, you know, all these people. I'm going to try and make some YouTube videos with them, you know, get content out as well as, you know, spending some time with them. I don't want to always have the camera out, but just let me know what you guys want to see, you know, drop a comment below and be sure to follow me on Instagram and, you know, just hit me up.